So let us start our video. I'll quickly open my VS Code here, and my VS Code has opened. So here I have an image file which I'm going to use as background. You can get all the files and source code in the description box. So I'll create an index.html file and style.css file and an app.js file to write our JavaScript. So I'll first put the border plate and give it a title called Countdown to New Year 2022 and I'll link HTML and CSS files and I'll also add script tag and app.js so I'll open my live server here if you want to install live server then you can open extensions and you can search for live server so I'll provide the live server link in the description box here I'll create and div with class container so here I'll add an h1 tag with class countdown and I'll write countdown to new year 2022 and I get a text called countdown to new year 2022 so I'll start styling my html page I'll add body background url pg.jpg which is my image file and I get background here so I'll add box size in border box to all the elements and I'll use background repeat no repeat background size 100% and now we don't get any repeated backgrounds and our background stays here itself so you can also add background attachment fixed here so that the background will be fixed but I don't want background attachment fixed here so I'll comment it and I'll add min height 100 bh which is the minimum height and color RGB and I'll use a color that is close to white which is 250 or 240 240 and now our color changes to white so I'll add overflow it and to stop overflow and now we don't get scroll bar anymore so I'll use a font called poppins here I'll open fonts.google.com and I'll search for a font called poppins so I already selected a font I'm going to remove it and search for poppins and I'll use regular font which is 400 I'll select the style copy the import tag and paste it here and I'll copy the font family too and paste it in my body tag and now I get custom font and this website looks awesome so I'll add display flex align items center justify content center and now our text becomes center then next I'm going to style the h1 tag so I'll use h1 text align center or instead of h1 I'll use the class countdown so I'll use dot countdown text align center font size for rem and now we get the bigger text and we get the text aligned center so I'm going to create another element which is the timer dot timer dot countdown container and inside that I'm going to use div with class time and day and I'll write some text such as 100 or you can write unknown or some other text so I'm, I'm using 100 here and span class text days and now we get 100 days here so I'll copy this countdown container and paste it three times which is our hour and now here we get four elements so I'm going to style its elements too so first I'll add dot timer display flex flex wrap wrap justify content center 
and text align center and now we get everything in center then time font weight bold padding 1 ram 2 ram and font size 3 ram then border 4 pixels solid and some color and now we get a box with some content here so next i'm going to add background blur here using backdrop filter blur and i'm going to use some values such as 10 pixels then next i'm going to style the span which is text so i'm going to use countdown timer font size 1 rem font weight bold color rgb and now we get custom stylings in our boxes so i'm going to add some more stylings to it so i'm going to use margin 0 and 1 ram and now i get margin and some spaces between them and i'm going to use border radius 1 ram so that i get some border so here i added some more css and i got everything in center so the next thing we are going to do is add snow event so i search for snowstorm.js and i'll open the first link so snowstorm.js is in javascript library just to add snow effect into your website so i'll provide this website link in the description box so i'll download the latest version of snowstorm.js and you get a zip file so this zip file is of 310 kilobytes so you need WinRail to extract this folder I'll provide the WinRail link in the description box so you need only this snowstorm.js file so I'll extract this snowstorm.js file so if you want to see some examples then you can extract the whole file so I don't want any examples I want the file so I'll extract the snowstorm.js file so I'll extract to my folder which is new year countdown 2022 and here, if I open my VS code, I get a folder called snowstorm.js and if I link my javascript file into my html so I use script tag and if I open my website, as you can see, I get an awesome snow effect as you can see here and this snow effect is looking cool so you can also add glass morphism effect so we can add dot container z index 999 and now the z index of the container is more and you can see the glass morphism effect to it but this won't work with snowstorm.js if you are using some other effects then you can see glass morphism effect behind the time with the z index function so now it's time to add some javascript to make this website working so first i'll create an variable call const new year is equal to 1 and 1 and 2022 which is the date of new year of 2022 and i'll create another const with the days el is equal to document dot query selector dot day which is the div variable which we kept as 100 so we are going to change it using javascript then const how real is equal to document dot query selector dot r and i'll create another const with minatl is equal to document dot query selector dot minute so i'll copy this minute text 
and paste it here. Then next, I'll copy the same exact code and I'll change the variables to second DL is equal to new year. So we kept the new year variable as 1 1 2022, which is the date of new year of 2022. So const hash 100 divided by 100 or 1000 divided by 1000 const days. Is equal to math dot floor total seconds divided by three thousand six hundred divided by twenty four seconds and const seconds is equal to math dot floor total seconds then 60 then days el dot text content is equal to and if i open this website i get the timer of new years so we have some problem in seconds so we should use dot seconds and dot second and now as you can see we get countdown to new year 2022 with days hours minutes and time so happy new year to everyone who are watching this video and don't forget to subscribe go to children i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye